Yo guys, welcome back to another video and I know I haven't uploaded in a long time for the small number of you who were paying attention to that but um, I'm finally back and this one's actually a really interesting video and I'm really lucky that I managed to even get my hands on this but this is an unboxing on the iPhone 11 Pro now September just ended and we had a lot of tech coming out in September from Huawei to OnePlus to Apple to Android to iOS and this is probably the biggest piece of tech that came out from last month so this is an unboxing of the silver iphone 11 pro and let's get straight into it so if we place the box down this is the amazon box that it came with and inside the amazon box comes the phone case that i ordered which is a leather apple phone case that we're going to look into later but yeah this is nice it's black it's simple it's clean but over here is the star of the show and this is the iPhone 11 Pro in silver 64 gigabytes and this is the box it's actually a black box which I think hasn't happened since the iPhone 7 so that's pretty cool and yeah if we just place it down here and open it up by pulling down this really satisfying sticker And yeah, so we'll just throw that away and here's the box and if I open it up, there we go. That's the iPhone 11 Pro. So I already love this in person a lot more than it did look in the renders and the photos. So I'm actually surprised about that. And it's also kind of heavy. So that's really weird as well. In fact, I'd say it's heavier than my iPhone, than my Galaxy S10 Plus. Here is the... 18 watt adapter that actually finally comes with the phone as a fast fast charger and it has the flicking thing you know what i mean so that's pretty cool so you can just fold it back in those are the normal lightning earphones no one cares about those and this is the lightning charger but instead of lightning to usb it's actually lightning to usb c so that's pretty cool because if you notice the fast charger also has a usb c port and here's the sound Yeah, there we go that's what we're talking about that's probably one of the best parts of opening an apple an apple product so yeah I'll just give you a bit of a look there with the apple logo being centered right in the middle which at first i was like what's going on here but I, i'm actually kind of liking it and once you've opened it up it gives you the standard hello and then swipe up and then choose your region I couldn't find the United Kingdom here, so I just ended up choosing the United States. And then I set it up through my iPad, so I'll show you what that is in a second. And there you go, my iPad recognized it, and now they're connecting to each other. So what it wants to do now is see like uh, dust particles which are on the iPhone, if you see there. And there you go, so just setting up the passcodes for the phone and for the Wi-Fi, and next up comes face id now face id is supposed to be newer and faster here we're gonna go through the specs later on in the video uh so this is me setting it up and here's just a little sound preview of the matte finish So here are the three cameras. This guy's now rocking an ultra wide a telephoto and a standard, so that's really cool. Even though they had, were supposed to do that years ago. And here is me just turning in a phone in different directions. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. And yeah, that was me setting up with Siri. And there we go. The iPhone is set up and ready to go. So this is the camera, like I said, there's the ultra wide, so I'll put those up on the screen right there for you. Ultra wide, standard, and then the telephoto one. So this is it to comparison to the Galaxy SM Plus. I placed the case under it because I don't want to scratch the screen, but uh, there you go. And if you put them next to each other, you can see it's actually quite a bit thicker. Not a lot thicker, but it's thicker, but it's definitely heavier, I can tell you that. And remember, this is the standard iPhone 11 Pro, not the Max. And I'm comparing it to the S10 Plus, so that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I'm not. It's not specifically a bad thing. It kind of makes it feel more premium. And then here is just a quick camera comparison. But if you do want an actual camera comparison video, that might happen if you drop a like below. Anyway, that's it for the S10. 
so yeah this is me fiddling with it looking in different directions making the light go in different directions at the back and just fiddling with it because you know who wouldn't if they had this phone so here is the case that i ordered and we're going to open that up and yeah there's not too much to it here it is black leather clean simple and just put it on you can see the apple logo is dented there and yeah it's got a bit of thick edges so it's it's it looks protective it feels protective only to a certain extent because obviously it doesn't cover the front screen but yeah that's it so now that we've done the unboxing let me go through a list of specs for this phone so this is quite a heavy phone coming in at 188 grams the galaxy s10 plus is 175 grams to give you kind of a comparison it's front and back glass and the back glass is frosted and scratch resistant with a stainless steel frame it's got ip68 water and dust resistance but it can go up to four meters for 30 minutes underwater it has a 5.8 inch super retina xdr display that goes up to 800 nits in brightness but does not have 3d touch this year instead it's given haptic touch the screen also supports hdr 10 with true tone the iphone 11 pro is powered by the apple a13 bionic chip which is a 7 nanometer chip running with ios 13 out the box it doesn't have any extendable memory and no dual sim just a single sim and it comes with 4 gigabytes of ram you have the option of 64 gigabytes 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes of storage if you've noticed they skipped out the 128 gigabytes so you're kind of trapped and you have to go one way or another if that was the one you were planning on getting the standard camera is a 12 megapixel f 1.8 aperture with optical image stabilization the two times optical zoom camera is 12 megapixels with an f 2.0 aperture with optical image stabilization and then the ultra wide camera doesn't have optical image stabilization but it's a 12 megapixel camera with an f 2.4 aperture and they all record in hdr and record up to 4k at 60 fps or 1080p at 240 fps for slow-mo the front camera is a 12 megapixel f 2.2 aperture and is a wide camera so that's really good so you can get a wider shot and you have an option of cropping in as well it also records at hdr and can record 4k at 60 fps and can record slow-mo with 1080p at 120 fps it's got stereo speakers with dolby atmos doesn't have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as usual runs wi-fi 6.0 bluetooth 5.0 has the new updated version of face id which should be a bit faster wireless charging a 3056 milliamp hour battery and is capable of fast charging if you're in the US, this guy starts at $999, but if you're in the UK, it starts at £1,049, meaning it's gone up by £50 in price from the previous generation 10s and the previous 10. And those are the base prices, so they go up if you want something over 64 gigabytes. So iPhone 11 Pro. The first impressions are that it looks much better in person than it does on cameras and renders. It's pretty heavy, but that's not really a negative it's just the fact that i'm throwing out there as something that stuck out to me and that matte finish is so damn good i mean i love it and that's one of my favorite parts of this iphone but they're so rocking that ugly ass notch and i'm not happy about that but yeah overall i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this device i've always been an android guy over ios but all that information in my opinion will be in the review which hopefully should come out tomorrow if I stay true to my schedule. And, well, I hope I do. Anyway, thanks for watching this video of the short unboxing to give you an idea of the iPhone 11 Pro straight out the box. And tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Overrated, underrated, whatever. I have quite a few cool tech videos coming up in the making, including a drone review, if you're interested. So if you're new, subscribe for that. Also, go check out my Insta and Twitter at the Rami El Nagar to stay up to date with everything on the channel, and check out my latest website, RamiElNagar.com, and maybe uh, subscribe in there too, because why not? Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one. Adios.